Hi, uh, well here I want to show you how to download and install the SOIPA, the software they're going to use to for a uh, PreVX server, free PreVX server. So we go to our browser, we type SOIPA and we go into the uh, into their website, which is SOIPA. We go to download and we choose our uh, operating system. In my case, I'm going to use Ubuntu. So I click in Linux. Uh, we have three options here. Uh, for this exercise, we are going to use the free option. And I'm going to click Debian package. And here it shows us uh, how heavy it is, and we click OK. But I'm not going to download it because I downloaded it already, and it takes time. So I have it here. So we just click there, and we click Install. And the software will automatically install in uh, our Ubuntu machine. Uh, permission. And yeah, that's it. Hi, my name is Nelson, and I'm going to show you how to uh, connect two servers by using a trunk uh, connection. So, two different uh, computers connected to two different servers can call each other. So here, we're going to use two Ubuntu's and two previous pre server. Each Ubuntu is connected to a different server, and the first Ubuntu is going, is going to have the extension number 1010, and the second one is going to have the extension 2020. So let's go to the uh, to the first server, which is 192, well, it is ending in 104. Um, so to create the extension, we go first to application, we go to extensions, and then we click in add extension, and we go to add PJ zip extension. Here, we just have to enter the number of extension, which is 1010. The name that is going to be displayed, which is Nelson, is my first name, and the secret. I'm going to put something easy to remember. Nelson again. And here we create a password for the new users, which is going to be Nelson again, because easy to remember. And submit, and that's it. That's how we create attention. Now I'm going to the second machine, to the second server, and I'm going to create the other extension. So the other extension, we have to add a click here in that extension, pjzip, and my other extension is going to be called 2020. The name is going to be my surname, and the second part is going to, going to be my surname again, just because it's easy to remember. And here, well, you, we just click here and submit. And important, this step is important. We just have always we have to click in apply config. So the changes are applied. If, if we don't click in apply config, the changes are not going to be set up. Uh, I'm going to click here because I forgot it. And that's all. That's how, uh, that's how um, we create extensions here in FreeVX. Well, here. Well, 
this is the second the second step if you have to create the user in Soipa. So I went to my Ubuntu machine and I'm going to digit first the number of extensions that I just created, which is 1010. And, and we put the IP address of, of our server, which is uh, 192.168.56.104. That's the first the IP address of the first server. And in password, um, I'm going to type the password that I uh, that I typed when I created the extension, which is my first name. Login. And here we just have to confirm that this is the the, the IP address of server. And it is. We skip. And then it's going to start to look for uh, the zip connection and and functionally it found it. So let's go to the, let's go to the second machine. I'm going to create the second extension, which is 2020, uh, and the IP address of uh, my second server, with which it ends in 105. Um, the password, which is uh, Andres, my second name. Uh, here we just have to confirm that this is the IP address of our server. Next. And. Yeah. And. This is how we create users in Soipa. Well, the third step is now we have to create the trunk. For the trunk, for the trunk we go to connectivity. We go to trunks. And we click add trunk. We click in uh, add zip trunk, the first one. And trunk name. We are going to give it a trunk trunk name. I'm going to call it path to one zero five. Uh, and that's it here in this screen. That's it. that's all we have to do. Dial the number. Uh, because the other server is going, is, is going to have the extension 2020 so uh, everything that comes uh, with the number 2 at the start uh, uh, is going to uh, get access to this server therefore uh, we're going to have connection with the other server. So I put uh, any number started starting uh, with two uh, is going to have access to this server. Now we are going to the uh, following screen and here they are asking for username and secret. This is optional. I'm just going to create a user and a name. And here in zip server, we have to type the IP address of our second server, of the server that we want to connect to, which is uh, the server number two, which uh, in ends with 105. The port that we are going to use is 5060. 5060 is the port that we use here. And yeah, that's all we have to do here. We just created the trunk here. We submit it. We click OK here. And nope. And apply config. And we do the same in this in the other machine. Now uh the next step we are going to create outbound root. So in outbound root, we just click connectivity outbound root uh, at outbound route, and we put in a name. I'm going to put them the same name, which is path, 
105. We're going to give the uh, we're going to give it up an ID this is user and that's it. And here in trump sequence for match roots, we have to click here so it will show you it will show us the path the, the trunk we select the trunk what that we just created which is this one and we click submit ah i missed the dial pattern so here the dial pattern is going to be two X X X, because everything uh, coming with the number two at the start is going to get going to have access to our server number one. So now I have we've done everything now, and we apply config. And do the same in the other server. Well, here we just created the trunk in the server number two, which is here. Yeah, I call it path to uh, 104, which is the server number one. And we created the out outbound route. Um, we created the outbound route here in, this, in the server number two, and I call it path. To 104, which is my server number one. So after having created the trunks and the album routes in, in our servers, now I'm going to uh, uh, I'm going to make a call to my servers so we can uh, see if it works. So now this is my server. Uh, this is my server number two, which ends with one zero five, and this is my server number number one, which ends with one zero four. I'm going to show again the 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 diagram that I use. The server number one has this IP address, and the server number two has the IP address ending with one zero five. Uh, the, the extensions here now. Well, let's try it out if it works. So I'm going to make a call from my server two to my server one. The extension is one zero one zero. Now you can see that it works. Now let's try the other way around from my server 1 to my server 2 so let's type the extensions of our server and we can see that it works so this is all uh, thanks very much and see you in the next video